First, congratulations on that Coke you had in your headset champion. Could have your name on it as well. Oh, man, that's so amazing. I, I, it hadn't sunk in right now. I'm just uh, awestruck. So proud of this team. They had ice in their veins tonight. We did our job, and we did the best we could with what we had, and, and we put it in victory lane. That's so awesome. Austin, I had the good fortune of getting a chat with you before the race. I could see you were confident about your car, and you felt good about what you were going to race tonight. Started back in 22nd, but drove to the top 10 and stayed there all night. Man, uh, solid car, like you said. And in practice, we knew we had something we could race with. We tried to keep up with the track the best we could, and we did a good job. Um, I didn't get a good last restart, so it kind of put us in a position where I could start saving pretty early. Um, I just tried to be as smooth as I could with the gas pedal, and uh, the good Lord took care of us. We had an angel in our car tonight and Joshua Harris, too. It's pretty cool that we got to take him to victory lane and a tribute to the troops. And that's something that a lot of the drivers, yeah, we appreciate that what you did. Talk about how you had to worry about your fuel, save gas, maintain your position. Also knowing Jimmy Johnson, I guess you were aware, he was in a similar position before he ran out of gas. You were able to get ahead of him. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing to beat the GOAT in your first race. I mean, <laughs> coming down to the end of the end of the race and I'm having to save fuel against one of the best of all time. And it was a chess match. I've always said, you know, racing is more than just driving so hard. It's, it's about outthinking these guys and outsmarting them. And we did it tonight. We, we just were, it was, it was awesome, man. I don't know what to say. It was just a great night for us. I, I can't imagine the balance. You're looking out your windshield. There's Jimmy Johnson. You know he's saving fuel, but you're catching him. You got to pass him. You look in your mirror. Here comes Kyle Busch and Truex. They're wide open trying to catch you. Uh, that's quite the balance. It is a balance. Um, you know, my spotter was so calm, and, and that's what kept me calm and, and knew if I just stuck to my plan, what I was doing early on in the run was going to work late in the run. My tires weren't killed. My, my fuel mileage was good. We ran out at the line. I mean, you can't cut it any closer than that. And I was just trying to be really smooth as I got into the corner and really smooth back into the gas on both ends of the track. And wow, it's uh, it feels good. And you had a change at crew chief. Uh, Justin Alexander had to work with you. Uh, talk about or tell us maybe how you two worked out in such a short amount of time the success here. Yeah, you know, Justin, is, it's pretty amazing. I don't know if in history a guy has jumped in as a crew chief and won his first race in both series. He, he jumped in and was my crew chief at Bristol. We won the Xfinity race. Now he jumped in the Cup Series, first race he wins. Uh, I don't know what we got to go do next, but first are good for us, so uh, we'll take it. Uh, talk about the 2017 season for Richard Childress Racing. The big win out in Phoenix for Ryan Newman. The gamble there. Your team pulls it off tonight. I saw that big hug you got from your grandpa in Victory Lane. Your dad, Mike, was there. I know those are special moments, but how good does it feel to see the success that Richard Childress Racing is having this year? Oh, it feels so amazing. Being from Welcome, North Carolina, it means so much to me to win in this number, the number three, to get it back to Victory Lane for my grandfather. He's put so much into me. And, and trusted me with the direction. And, and I got to thank my teammates, Ryan Newman, Paul Menard. They've worked really well with me. And I've learned a lot from Ryan. He's a smart guy. And I just, uh, I'm proud to, to be here in Victory Lane. And for all these three fans that wanted to see this number run well and get back to Victory Lane, it feels awesome. Uh, feels awesome to get this first one off my chest. Yeah, and you've been a, a champion in the Xfinity Series and the Camping World Truck Series, and finally your, your first cup win. Uh, that slide, that it, where did that develop? I, I know you were a Little League uh, All-Star back, <laughs> back when you were just a youngster, but it was fun to see you guys do that. How did that develop? I mean, I, I just was so excited. The first time I won in the NASCAR Series, I was going to slide through the gas, and it looked pretty fun. I actually stuck the landing a lot worse the first time I tried it. <laughs> Little rain helped me tonight. That that is awesome. Oh. That was awesome. You, you talk first, about yeah. sticking the landing, Austin. That was that thing came to a halt in a hurry. I get to play some basketball with you. I know what the athletes you are, how quickly you can motor around the court. So uh, you pulled one off tonight. Well, thanks, man. This is it feels amazing. I got to thank Dow too, man. They've been with me since the start of this thing in the Cup Series, and it's so feels so good to get them into victory lane. They're the best sponsor in this sport. They've protected me and taken care of me and. Oh, man, there's some of the greatest people out there, so I got to thank Dow for everything they do for me. Yeah, when you've run in this race before, Austin, we always hear about how grueling it is. You have to hydrate. I know we had the weather delay. There were a number of other factors. How would you describe maintaining, I guess, not only the, the physical, but the, but the mental fatigue getting through all 600 miles? Well, um, you know, the break helped. Uh, a little rain break gets you back, and you get a little snack and a little water in you. And, um, just staying focused. This is about true grit and staying in it and staying focused and um, 
they did a good job keeping me cool in the car and hydrated, and, and I was able to be smart with my moves that we made at the end of the race, and it worked out. Buddy, not only have you won the Coca-Cola 600, you're in the playoffs. Your team's going to go race for a championship. How does that feel as you look forward to that? It feels amazing. I'm, I'm glad I get to take my fiance to the banquet. She was she's pretty bummed out all year long because she didn't think we was going to go to the banquet. That's the first thing she said. We get to go to the banquet and get to put on a dress. So I'm glad I made her night. And the uh, wedding plans for December, right? All still good there? Yeah, right? all still good. We're going in December. and. Heck, it's going to be really close to that banquet time. We'll be busy people. <laughs> All right, great. Thanks. for From Welcome, North Carolina, we welcome you to uh, Victory Lane at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's uh, right, perfect locale for you and your crew. Thanks for spending some time with us here on, uh, on FS1. Thanks. And, Michael, we're going to have to work this uh, interview before every race out now. That <laughs> worked out pretty good. I'll come find you. I love tonight. You were awesome. Thanks, Mike.